Today we're going to be tying a UV mini stone. I've got a size 6 2457, a copper bead. Adjust the size of the bead to the fly that you're tying. Um, probably tie these down to about a size 10. I'm going to make a thread wrap base of black 6 aught uni thread all the way down just past the barb. I've got some pre-cut pieces here of Life Flex, the spandex leg material. It is the one rubber leg product that will really last for an extended period of time without degrading. So I'm going to tie in a tail at the rear of the hook. It's got just a couple little tails sticking off the back. I'm going to take a piece of this UV chewy skin in the brown color and I'm going to cut off a small strip. Probably about a sixteenth of an inch, maybe an eighth of an inch. I'm going to tie this in with the reef. There's kind of a, you can see there's kind of an opalescent side and then kind of a matte side. I'm going to tie the opalescent side down so when I flip it over, that's what's showing. I'm going to use this as the, the abdomen piece. So I'm just going to uh, wrap it, kind of one wrap on top of the last one a uh, little bit to create some really nice segmentation. I'm going to go up to about the halfway point. You can kind of stretch that tight a little bit and give it a snip. really reduces your bulk. So the next thing I'm going to do is I've got some pre-tied it's the same Life Flex material and all I've done is done two single overhand knots. Um, this is going to kind of create like a, uh, the appendages and give it a little bit more of an articulated look. I'm going to tie those in about halfway in between where the uh, abdomen stopped and the bead starts. And I'm going to put one on each side. They're a little bit long right now, but we can always trim that down. So I'm going to bring my thread back to kind of where, where the, the thorax, excuse me, the thorax starts, abdomen finishes. And I'm going to use some of this Golden Stone SLF. I'm going to pull out a small pinch uh, and put this into a dubbing loop. So if you've got a whirly gig tool that you like using, you know, go ahead and do that accordingly. I'm using that Petit Jean Bobbin again. I'm just going to kind of turn, turn my vise off to the side so that when I spin this, this is going to work. i got enough clearance then. Leave it nice and buggy. Just kind of take those legs and get them out of the way. Loosened up my dubbing loop there. I'm just going to try to peel that loop off just a bit. Trim off the excess loop. So now with that same piece that I used for the thorax, I'm just this is the excess there. I'm just going to take it, uh, clip it kind of like on the UV chewy stone that we've done before. Give it just a little bit of a wing case. Pull that out, you know, you can see that I've got like just a little bit of a dovetail in there. I'm going to lay that across the top over those arms over that dubbing. Again, give it just a little bit of tension. Snip that stuff off finish it off, give it a nice clean look, I'm just going to take a little tiny bit more of that SLF. 
I'm just going to finger roll that on, make a little tiny noodle. Whip finish up behind the bead. I'll pull maybe a little bit of that excess material off. It's pretty, pretty buggy in there. Um, last thing we'll do is we'll just kind of snip those legs down so that they're proportionate. And there you have a UV Chewy Skin Mini Stone. One of my new favorites. Hope it's one of yours too.